controversial, lethal, and dangerously addictive meet Tren, a golden ticket to a dream body. However, it has a horrifying cost. Tren has become an obsession in the fitness world, marketed as a magic formula to anyone who seeks the ultimate edge. But be warned, under the surface lies a dangerous and dark reality. Trembolone has certainly made its mark. For contests, I always use Trembolone. I'm shocked now with like how much Trembolone people use because it's very powerful, yeah? Frequently used blindly, without awareness, it lures its victim into a maze of hidden consequences. But what makes it so tempting? And what are the real implications of its use? This is what you need to know about Trembolone. Back in the 60s, while everyone was discovering rock and roll, Hoogst Russell was busy synthesizing Trembolone. The company's mission was to improve feed efficiency and muscle growth in cattle. So then, when they take the cows to market, they can fetch more cash. But little did they know, this drug, designed to beef up livestock, would find a future far beyond the farm. In the late 80s to early 90s, guys were now showing up on stage monsters. Some of these blokes didn't even look human anymore. And throughout the 2000s, underground labs churned out this stuff by the boatload. As its use surged, awareness of the severe side effects also came to light. Since 2020, there's been a significant overall rise in Trembolone usage, all fueled by its trending status online. Guys often hear about Tren before they even know what steroids are. They'll casually throw Tren into their stack without knowing any of the risks just to get beach ready. On the other hand, for a bodybuilder, sacrificing their health using Trembolone to win seems to be all part of the game. So why has the average man now ended up on Tren? And what has fueled this explosive growth into the fitness world. Binding affinity is the strength in which a steroid molecule attaches to androgen receptors, influencing its anabolic and androgenic potency. And Trembolone has one of the highest affinities for androgen receptors. Think of its potent androgenic binding like Bruce Banner's transformation into the Hulk. Just as the gamma rays trigger his transformation, Trembolone's powerful binding sparks significant anabolic activity, leading to extraordinary muscle growth. A huge standout feature for Tren is its ability to enhance nutrition partitioning. This is going to direct nutrients more effectively to muscle rather than fat, meaning a midnight snack even fuels muscle growth and repair. Trembolone supercharges protein synthesis and locks in nitrogen retention. This facilitates tissue growth through enhanced protein expression. It will also suppress muscle wasting hormones like cortisol. This strong anti-catabolic effect is why it's so highly valued with bodybuilders as they can use it in an aggressive energy deficit before a show. Trend boosts red blood cell production, turning workouts into power packed sessions, just like you're being fueled with a jet engine. This means the individual can push harder, lift heavier, keep going longer, making them feel like they're driven by fusion energy, which is considered more powerful than rocket fuel. But wait, there's a cat. Many users dive in without adequate research on the negative effects or risks. Instead, they rely on cherry-picked advice from the biggest guy they know or random information from friends or outdated online forums, often skipping crucial blood work to assess their health before, during and after. It's like diving into the deep end without checking if the water is full of jellyfish, crocodiles and sharks. <laughs> 
Prembolone can cause high prolactin levels, mimicking high estrogen effects like nipple tissue growth. Inexperienced users will often skip blood tests and wrongly take aromatized inhibitors, causing their estrogen levels to crash worsening the situation. While Trend does not aromatize, users may still take aromatized inhibitors or DHT compounds because they might be stacking other drugs that do convert to estrogen. Trend ramps up androgen levels, supercharging the limbido. It's like they turn into a love-crazed Trend tornado. At first glance, it might sound thrilling, but this intense drive can sabotage relationships, convincing your partner it wasn't me, it was the trend, is not an easy task. When it's injected, this can cause an instant reaction in the lungs, leading to a coughing fit that makes you sound like a vintage tractor. Now, the exact cause is unknown, but one hypothesis does suggest the oil-based trend solution rapidly enters the bloodstream, causing a reaction in the lungs. And I've found trend cough can turn injection time into a comedy show, minus the laughs. Trend will steal your sleep and it's one of the worst side effects of them all. Mood swings, decreased cognitive function and will impact your overall health during the day. The reason that guys think twice about jumping on the trend train is because they don't want to be walking around like a zombie all day. And if you do get to sleep on the stuff, it's like you've gone to bed in a sauna. You're going to wake up drenched. Trend's famous for this, leading to dehydration, muscle soreness, and even worse sleep. Make sure you keep a towel handy, otherwise you could just slip off the bed. Very bad skin and acne can reflect deep hormonal disturbances. This is a signal of metabolic stress. It's like being a teenager all over again, but you've still got the adult responsibilities. Low SHBG levels boost DHT, which shrinks hair follicles and halts hair growth, leaving you shedding hair faster than a Christmas tree in January. Trend alone can turn people into an angry hulk. Users report significant mood swings, increased aggression, and irritability. The elevated androgens mess with your brain's chemistry, making you snap over the smallest of things. So if you find yourself yelling at your toaster, you know the trend's real. But that's not everything. Trend is going to put your kidneys and your liver into overdrive. Users often report havoc on their appetite. Some of them binge like it's man versus food, while others barely eat at all, and their diet looks like something out of Survivor. The scary part is, this toxicity can lead to lifelong kidney damage. I'd love to tell you that this is the part of the video where the side effects have all been covered. And with a bit of luck, you can evade all the troubles and attain your dream physique. But I can't tell you that because things are about to get a lot worse. Using Trend can throw neurotransmitters out of whack. Dopamine levels go up, serotonin and GABA go down. This balance does translate to the insomnia, anxiety, if that's even a thing, and aggression. So it's not exactly great for the overall well-being. The electrolyte balance is thrown off, so this increases blood pressure. So it's very wise to monitor the blood pressure in the morning, control sodium intake, consider Cialis before a workout, do the cardio, take magnesium glycinate, and potentially, if you need it, put something like an ARB in. A huge alteration to health is the cardiovascular and metabolic issues. If you do love doing your cardio, Trembolone will break your heart literally. Users do report reduced cardiovascular performance, increased red blood cell count, more hematocrit makes it harder for your heart to pump blood efficiently. As the more you're on it for, the more you're swapping out your heart's engine oil for sludge. And there's a big disruption to glucose and insulin. If they're not managed, lipids will look bad very quickly, leading to serious heart issues down the line, maybe even a stroke. So this cholesterol chaos mixed with this blood sugar havoc can spell disaster for the cardiovascular system overall. Train is highly suppressive on natural testosterone production, making post-cycle therapy very challenging. Many users will have prolonged mood swings 
feelings, fatigue and libido issues after the drug is gone. So without a well-planned post-cycle protocol, the guy might never be able to produce testosterone naturally again. In most cases, guys that use Tren are on TRT for life. It's like me, my life is awful and I'm on TRT. The long-term side effects of Tren do vary widely as it does disrupt hormone levels differently in each individual. Some may not even notice any adverse effects because they have fake Tren or they just have ideal hormone levels for the drug and then get off it very quickly plus they don't use too much but then again others can use tiny amounts not for very long and face prolonged difficulties and challenges it really is like playing hormonal roulette and it's tough to see the outcome if you don't know what you're doing So if someone is determined to use trend despite the potential risks, it's smart to start with low dosages. Inject subcutaneously. Use a carrier oil that is slow acting like grapeseed, following a well-structured plan based on blood work, science and safety. And after all, why would you roll the dice with your health using Tren when you can safely sculpt a masterpiece without it. In any case, if you want to go to the next level and you don't want to mess yourself up in the process, you can reach out for help and guidance. There's a link below this video in the description box. You can get hold of me there. Hit that link and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. The next video coming up is about my cycle, the way I do things. And if you have anything to share about trend that I've missed out, put that in the comments box below. Dr. James, I'm out.